guys, so we're gonna make a bun, but I got a lot of stuff to review, so let's get straight into it. Clara Cosmetics sent me a whole bunch of stuff to play with, and I don't know where to start. I thought maybe I would just like do a face of makeup using their products and review it as I go along. So the first thing they sent me, and they've been hyping it up so much, is this reset. Um, I don't know, it's like, a, it says instant new skin. It's like the thing you put on before you even start priming and putting on foundation. The idea is it's supposed to give you like amazing skin to as a base to work on. Unlocks and tightens pores, diminishes fine lines, even skin tones, and corrects blemishes. So I've got some blemishes here that we can uh, test that out on. I really think the packaging is pretty cool. It doesn't stand up, you know, because it's like a giant egg, but... Um, so I just pop a little blob on my hand and just rub it all over my face. I actually was sent this before it got released, but I haven't had time to even play with it. So now we're playing with it and it's out. I could have been on the ball, I could have got all the views. Okay, I will say that after putting it on, my skin actually does feel really smooth. It feels really cleansed, it feels clean. Anyway, so next up I've got the Zero Pores Primer. I don't really know if you're supposed to use the reset and then the primer but I'm gonna do it anyway um, I like to put my primer on with my foundation brush because it also primes the brush I think that's my little weird science feels like it's going on really easily it feels like I can just slide around anyway so it's primed actually I just remembered they sent me a little a little brush here to apply things so I probably should have done that so the foundation is it's CC cream 8-in-1 mineral foundation Start with that amount. Yes, we'll do that. Okay, I'm using this little brushy thing. It smells nice. That's a happy time. It looks quite a, kind of warmer than my actual skin tone. I don't mind this brush. I feel like it's like very rigid, but I don't feel like that's a bad thing. I feel like it's kind of designed to like press the product into your face rather than just smear it across. I call this a frog technique. You're like. Ribbit. My only thing is that I find this brush too time consuming. I think it'd be good for detail areas like, you know, the small areas, but to do your whole face like that with such a small brush, it's a little time consuming. It's not sticky, it's not powdery, it's just like, it feels like my skin, but darker. It's like I got a tan, but only on the face. Anyway, I'm going to do my regular concealer and other details. Uh, and come back and try out some of these eyeshadows and lip products that I also have. So I'll see you in a sec. So just popping a bit of uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion on my eyelids. Because um, I'm going to try out the Clara eyeshadows if I can. Got three shades here. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. I'm going to start with this one here. Colour number 33. Love a good neutral. And it seems like a darker neutral. This seems like a really nice socket color actually. It's like a transitional color. Now, this is very dark. This is the color number 26. These are called shimmer shadows, by the way. That actually comes out really pretty. I shouldn't have looked up while I said that because I just fucked it up. We're just gonna blend it with a fluffy blush. Fluffy blush, fluffy brush. Hmm. It blends really well. Actually decided what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some scotch tape and do that whole scotchy tape thing because I am just not a smoky eye. You know, I'm not capable of it, so. Who needs Botox? Just both scotch tape. See if it makes any difference having the uh, scotch tape there. I'm very impressed with the blending, I will say that. Wasn't even recording when I did my blending. I'm gonna take this very, very small angle brush and just Tap it in there and I'm gonna just create like some kind of under eye green thing just so we can see what the color turns out like. Please excuse my hiccups, I just ate a whole pizza and a dessert and it was really delicious. Christmas green! Alright, so those are the three eyeshadow colors that I wanted to try out. So to save you guys all of the uh, watching fun times, I'm just gonna do my liner and mascara. I'm using Glam Eyes by Rimmel London and also They're Real by Benefit. So I've just finished off my eye makeup and this is where I'm at with it. It's very almost Arabian. I did that thing where you like start putting on really thin amounts of eyeliner and then 
you screw it up so then you make it thicker and thicker and then it just went blah. I think the colors turned out really well. I'm kind of impressed with these eyeshadows. Let's talk about the part of this package that I'm most excited about, okay? Lip products. These are the Kiss Proof Lips which I have reviewed on my channel before, but they've got new shades and I'm excited because there's like a really dark red in here and then there's like diamond. There's ones with diamonds in them. Oh, and you know what's cute? They gave me like a little mini one to like stick in my bag, you know, like a little travel sized one. So they've added two new colors to their range, which is 15 and 16 and they look pretty exciting. This one's like a nude. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch it on my hand next to number three, which is my favorite at the moment. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Oh, wow. I'm excited by that. I'm really excited by that. So this is number three, and this is the one that I went spastic over last time. This one's like more reddish toned. It looks like what Lime Crime Cosmetics Cashmere should have looked like. This is what I expected it to look like, and it came out really, really desaturated, let's just say. And then we've got the really dark one. So just for comparison, the darkest shade that I have from Clara. So I was thinking like, oh wow, this is a really dark shade. This is their vintage burgundy color. It comes up really bright on camera, but it's actually much darker in person. Like, it's kind of like Lime Crime Cosmetics Wicked, I think it was called, that everyone went crazy for. But you know how I feel about Lime Crime, so let's not go there. So then this one is number 16. I don't know what the color is called yet, but it looks so much darker. Also, they've changed the brushes. Which I'm not sure how I feel about yet, because I really like the old brushes. Anyway, let's swatch that one on there. Let's see how dark it is. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, uh, It's really dark. It's so dark. I'm so excited. So I'm just going to get my Kat Von D vampire out and just compare they are pretty much an exact dupe for each other the clara one is more plummy and it's got that like really deep rosy color whereas the vampire kind of comes out more oxidized like if you hold it up to the light it sort of goes flat as a color but this one is just like boom. there it is so we've got the diamond ones and they've got like flecks of glitter all through it very very finely um so there's Pink Diamond, which is number two. And I'm just gonna, just gonna swatch it on my hair. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a swatching video. How's that? Oh, wow. So that's that one there. Honestly, out of all the colors that I've just received, I think that I'm going to be super obsessed with the really dark red, which is number 16. And I'm gonna wear this one now. I really, really like this. Anyway, so those are my thoughts on the new Clara Cosmetics thingies. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. I will do a future swatch video and like dupe video. I'll just get all my like 24 hour long wear lip colors and swatch them in a row and like tell you. Maybe I'll do a blog post instead. I do have a blog. I don't know, we'll work it out. Anyway, if you want to see more of my videos, there are three down below that you should check out. If you want to see more videos from me, you should also subscribe. It's free. Yeah, I guess I'll see you next time with the next video. Bye-bye. Whoa! Jiggly. Jiggly puff. Is this... Your shadow? I'm so scared. It's just going to be like... <laughs> Welcome to the future. Where are my brushes? I put everything here and yet I cannot find a thing. Why am I in such I'm in such a weird mood today? It must be the, the sickness, I think, I think.